Happy Friday, everybody. It's me, Vicki. How are you guys doing today? I hope everybody's having a wonderful Friday. The weekend is here. Yes. So today I wanted to come on because I wanted to talk about my topic. The back of my hair is not grown. Okay, and this is seriously like I'm having that issue and it's really been bothering me and I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, but there's something going on here. Now, for those of you who do not know, I am natural and I've been natural now for four years, okay? And what it is that I'm trying to do is go on a natural hair journey and let my hair grow as long as possible. Now, when I did the big chop, I will show pictures if I can find them and post it here on the video to show you guys that I did do the big chop four years ago and I want you to see how short my hair was. I have to honestly say that my hair has grown from the big chop, which is wonderful and I'm happy about. However, when I did the big chop, the purpose of cutting my hair in one length is so that my hair can grow evenly so that I could have the length of the even chop that I did. But instead, my hair is growing everywhere except back here. And it used to be a lot worse, okay, where I used to see patches in the back of my hair, like little ball patches. And I was saying to myself, am I developing alopecia? But no, that's not what it is. What's happening with me is something I think is hereditary, is in my family. In my family, there's a lot of people with thin hair, and there's also people, the guys have the bald spot in the middle, and hair here, that George Jefferson look. Yeah, that's, that's, part, that's in my family. So that could explain why it's happening to me, because I didn't, you know, I didn't understand... Well, I didn't understand what was going on. I thought maybe it was something that I'm doing wrong, but no, definitely not. Because I'm using my Blue Magic, I'm using my castor oil, uh, and I do my coconut deep conditioning treatment. I do all the treatments that is supposed to help grow my hair, which it is. Everything is growing, like I said, but I'm not getting the growth back here, which is weird to me. When I try to wear my hair in a ponytail, uh, I have to like literally manipulate my hair because I don't want it to look like something's wrong with me back there. You know what I'm saying? It looks thin as hell. And I don't like that look. I want my hair to look full all over as opposed to all my hair is full except back here. Now, when I was in my 20s, I, I started noticing that I was having issues with the, my hairline where it was super thin. It was like thin hair and it looked like I was going bald. Like, you know, I said, maybe my ponytails are too tight. So, but that, that, that issue is no longer an issue for me. So everything has grown in. And but my main issue is the back because the thing is, it's very important for the back of my hair to grow because if it's not growing, what's happening is it's taken away from the length of my hair. So right now I have to depend on the rest of my hair back here to cover that up. So if my back hair is supposed to be past shoulder length, unfortunately it's not because I have to borrow the hair from up top and it just leaves my hair at shoulder length as opposed to where it should be past shoulder length. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't like that. I want to be able to wear my hair in an updo and not have to worry about uh, my hair being thin back here and I have to manipulate it with mascara. I have to manipulate it like I have to like literally take a mascara to color it in to make it look darker because it looks so light and thin. It looks like I have an issue back there, which I do. So that's my problem that I have and I don't know if anybody else have that issue where you have like patches and you have hair that's thin back here and it's not growing because it's really not growing. I do everything that I can to grow it out and it's not happening and it's like it have me feeling like I want to cut my hair off. I've really been tempted to chop it off and just keep my hair short and wear my wigs and just have fun and just when I want to go short I could wear my real hair because you know my hair is not long anyway. You know, so what's the difference? But I am on a journey and I want to prove something to myself to see if I can grow my hair long. And if I chop it off, like I've been doing, I cut my hair like six times. It defeats the purpose of what it is that I'm trying to do. So I'm praying and I'm trying and I'm just trying to find out what can I possibly do to help with the issue back here to get my hair to grow. Because right now my hair is so uneven back here. Like even if over here is like growing, but back here is like, like I got a fade or something and it's weird looking. So 
it's really hard when I'm doing my updo. I have to use a lot of gel. Like I said, I have to use a, a mascara to fill it in to make it look like it's natural and looks. I don't like that. I don't like. I don't know what's happening. You know, I'm like, am I, what? What more can I do? But if it's hereditary, there's nothing that I can do. It is what it is. So maybe. A haircut is the best way to go, but no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have to just work with the issue back here and just manipulate and depend on the rest of my hair to cover that little part up when it's so yeah, so that's the problem that I'm having. So right now I am focusing on using uh the blue magic um my castor oil. I'm using my coconut milk deep conditioning treatment. I'm focusing on that area specifically back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys, not today in this video because my hair is in this little style right now, but when I do wash my hair, I am going to show you guys what it is that I'm talking about and so you guys can see how weird my hair is growing out and it's freaking weird. It's like all here is like and here is like the heck doesn't make no kind of sense to me oh my god but anyway guys have a wonderful weekend i'm not going to stress it it's just hair and the fact that i love wearing wigs and weaves and braids if that is the case then so be it i'm going to be a wig lady forever <laughs> you know and it is what it is I'm, i will chop my hair off i will give my hair about you know I'm, when i'm six years natural if my hair is still having the issue where this is not growing Snip, snip. Okay, I might just get like a really cute little style. Maybe have it come in long hair and short on the sides. I mean, that's cute. Like, like a little sexy, cute, short cut style. And when I get bored, of course, I will do my little wigs and weaves and braids and whatever. Because that's what it is. I love it anyway, so I might as well. So, it's not a big issue. So, I'm not going to cry about it. But I just wanted to share with you guys that this is what's happening with my natural hair growth journey so far. And I'm very... Like, I'm a little frustrated with it, but at the same time, I'm okay. You know, it's like, it's just hair. It's not that serious, okay? So, take care, guys. God bless, and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.